Hi, welcome everyone. Thanks so much for subscribing for the newcomers. This is a quick shot of the moon just yesterday, and we're gonna go see some more than close up shots of the surface, and I'm going to have some explanation along with it, some narration. You're gonna have to listen to me, guys. Uh, yeah, we're seeing a surface that's incredible, and every structure that's ever been shown on the surface, I'll show you exactly where they all are. Let's go see all the different levels of clouds. Yesterday I showed this area. Do you guys know what this area is? It's Tycho Crater, the bottom side. The north, the south pole, I'm sorry, is at the top in this image, which is the bottom of the moon. It's just turned right side up. Look at the objects all around it, but not just that. I'm going to show you something else. There are lines leading a bit lower, everywhere actually. Very hard to see, but we're going to do something to the image. Watch this. Now we see those same objects, a little clearer, but I'm going to show you something even cooler. Look underneath. Do you see what I mean by the lines that are crossing over? Now let's see some symmetry in the lines. Here's a wishbone line. Two lines going upwards on each side along a path of straight objects in symmetry, in unison. And these are objects, you know, these findings, these um, anomalies, and the way they are, do show us that there are signs of construction on the surface. That's without a doubt. Look how they look when we go close up. And now look at this. Remember the top that I showed you yesterday, Mayor Chrissium on the left? I got it as clear as I can. You could even see some of the haze and oscillation, uh, not oscillation, but well, some oscillation, but I mean uh, the atmosphere on the surface. Check this nice pass out as we uh, pan along watch the surface, look at the structuring. Those are the objects that everyone shows. When the Terminator line goes by these areas, they show us signs of elevation and a lot of signs of construction. So let me remind you, we're closer than yesterday. We're zoomed in maybe 25 to 30% more, uh, more clarity as I sharpened the image more. You know, you have to be careful when sharpening the image. Why? Because um, with uh, in the inverted, way like this I can really sharpen it a lot more than um, you know that re regular gray moon so when that line of darkness the terminator line comes by these areas it shows us along the terminator line an amazing elevation of the surface it, it's like it opens up the veil for us along the terminator line
Now we're going all along um, on our way down to Copernicus Crater. We're going to go see that area where we can see all what looks like atmosphere and colors. Bottom left here, the color is just beside Hyginus Crater. The amazement I had when I zoomed in this close and even closer and saw the hazes and smokes for myself. They're real. So here we are again, pushing the limits. Oh, I know you all like that. And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna really push the limits um, before the pixelation point, of course. <laughs> Plenty to see before we get there. Thanks for watching, everyone. The blues beside Copernicus Crater. I'm telling you, wait till you see it. it looks like islands, okay? I'm just telling you, I'm just saying. <laughs>